Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today I want to show you how to install the Gator FX hard folding cover on this 2014 and up body style Chevy Silverado GMC Sierra. Now this is the 5.8 bed, but it's the exact same install for the six and a half and the eight foot beds. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I've already gone ahead and installed the bulkhead seal. Uh, it's very important before you install this seal to wipe down the bulkhead with some rubbing alcohol, get it completely free of any kind of dirt and grime. Uh, then when you stick it to the bulkhead, you want to make sure it's as far away from the cab as possible still on top of the bulkhead. Next, we're going to go ahead and install the rails. Now, I'm going to install the passenger side rail. You're going to do the exact same steps for the driver side as well. Now, before I get started, I want to make sure that I have the drain tube connected and then it's ready to, to, to go out the, the side of the truck. Now, this is a Silverado. Sierra is the exact same way. Um, this has got a bed rug installed. So, if it did not have a bed rug installed, um, back here I've got a little access point. I could pop that out and run the drain tube through there. Um, you know, I could also, if, if this was a drop in bed liner, usually there's a big hole right here. I could drop the drain tube and run out the hole. What I like to do with the drain tubes uh, on the Silverado with the bed rug is I'll take the tube and I'll actually shorten that tube a little bit, stuff it down in, into the bed rug, and, uh, and, and then just attach the rail to the bed cap. Uh, what that does is that just kind of puts any kind of water in between the bed rug and the bed. Now I can go ahead and hang the rail on top of the bed cap. When I do that, I'm going to push the drain spout into the drain tube and place it on top of the bed cap. Now, this is the passenger side rail. We've got an aluminum tab sticking out towards the front uh, and it actually hangs on top of the bed cap. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to make sure that it's pulled all the way towards uh, the bulkhead uh, to where the seal on the front of it is actually pushing up against the sheet metal. If this was a drop-in bed liner, um, I may have to trim around that bed liner or at least close the tailgate, make sure that it's pushed all the way up to where the, the tailgate can close against the back of the rail without contacting that. Next, we're going to go ahead and install a clamp. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to loosen that clamp up to where it can open and close. Uh, we're going to install it as far forward towards the cab on the, on the rail as possible. Now, one thing that's very important, the grooves in the clamp need to marry up properly with the grooves in the rail. I'm going to slide this up in here and I'm gonna make sure that it's seated, slide as forward as possible, then I'm going to tighten it by hand, holding it in place. Once I've got it tightened by hand, I'm going to take a 9 16 wrench or ratchet, tighten it until it just starts to barely grab, then I'm going to pull it, make sure it's all the way forward, and then pop down on it to seat the seal against the bed cap. Once that's seated, I'm going to go ahead and finish tightening the clamp. Don't over tighten it, then I can move to the next clamp. Now my second clamp I'm going to put towards the center of the rail. Now um, this is a 5.8 bed, so I'm going to go on uh, the, you know, a little bit further away from this hump in the center. If this was a six and a half foot bed, I'd probably be on the other side because it's a little bit longer uh, and that'd be more centered over there. But uh, here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it up in place. Again, very important, make sure the grooves in the clamp are married into the grooves in the rail. Uh, put that in finger tight, uh, slide it up, tighten it down just a little bit. We're not, we're not getting it super snug at this point. And remember, very important, you want to set that rail, and then you can finish tightening it down. Now, the last clamp, we want to install that as close to the tailgate as possible. What we're going to do, there again, slide that in there, make sure that it's uh, married into the grooves, and then slide it back as far as it'll go. Uh, you're going to have something obstruct and, and not let you go any further. That's where you want to stop. Uh, there again, you get it just to where it's snug. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to come back about here and seat that rail back here. This is where we want it to seat. If it seats here, it seats the entire way along the rail. And then we can go ahead and finish tightening it down. All right, so now your prop rod is just gonna snap onto this ball stud and then hang into the bracket. So snap in place and it's all done. All right, now before we install the cover onto the rails of the truck, we first need to install our clip receivers. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull back the cab panel, and we're going to notice it's got a couple of beveled holes here and a couple of holes on the back side. What we're going to do is with the clip receiver and the, the packet that comes in, you're going to have some uh, little bolts that go down through the clip receiver. We're going to take and push those right through those beveled holes. Uh, then you've got the, 
backings that the bolts screw into. I'm gonna fold that back. Just kind of get them started onto the screws. And take a Phillips head screwdriver and tighten them down. We're gonna do this with both of the clip receivers. This is the one for the driver's side. We've also got one for the passenger side. All right, now, of course, this is the cab panel. It goes up against the cab. You wanna make sure that clip receiver open end is faced towards the other part of the cover. That way, you can clip in like so. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and lift up the cover and set it on the rails of the truck. Once we lay it in place, let it latch. The cab panel front seal needs to go over top of the bulkhead seal. So we're just gonna kind of slide it forward a little bit. And get it in place. Once it's in place, we're gonna go ahead and install our elevator bolts. Now here's our elevator bolt assembly. We're gonna have two of them, one for each side. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that apart. So we're gonna undo our start ops, and that's gonna go down through the cover and actually sinks down into the rail uh, underneath the cover. Now our elevator bolt is coming down through our aluminum tab. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rubber washer, flat washer, and lock washer in that order. We're gonna slide them over top of that elevator bolt. And then we're gonna attach our star knob. Uh, we're gonna get it started and threaded in place, but we're not gonna tighten it up because we still have to adjust the cover. Do that on both sides. Now to adjust the cover, we're gonna adjust one panel at a time. We're gonna drop it into the rail. Make sure each side is centered. Shift it as, if necessary. Drop the next panel. Again, shift it side to side if it's necessary to make sure it's centered. And then the last panel. Now that we have the cover adjusted, we're gonna very gently fold each panel towards the cab of the truck, making sure we do not shift uh, the center of the, each panel. We get up to the front, and very gently rock it forward, and then tighten down the elevator knobs on each side. Now we don't need to over tighten these, we just need to get them nice and snug. Next we need to go ahead and install these three rubber bumpers. These actually install right along the top of this panel as it reaches up and touches the cab. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the cover up to the cab, see where we make contact. And so my first rubber bumper, I'm going to install on this panel right here, or in this place on the panel. And uh, best way to release the adhesive protector, get something sharp, poke it back behind there, and peel it off. Make sure you do not touch that adhesive. And also before you attach the adhesive, you wanna wipe down this whole surface with rubbing alcohol. That removes any kind of grime or oil. And fold it forward again. There it's offering some protections. We're gonna do one more here and one more over here. So now we're gonna go ahead and test the operation of the cover. We're gonna fold each panel one at a time back to the back, make sure they latch in place. Before you close the last panel, you wanna make sure you always close the tailgate. You actually got a nice little warning label reminding you to do that. Everything fits perfect. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.